karibu katika jela kuu ya kamiti jela ambayo imejengwa kwenye kari tano eneo lilojulikana kama kamiti viungani majiji Nairobi muonekano wa jela hii umebadilika katika miaka hivi karibuni huku wafungwa kipambana na mabadiliko katika sekta mbalimbali kama vile elimu malazi afya mlo na kushiriki katika shughuli za kujenga taifa haya yote yakiwezeshwa na serikali na mashirika ya ya serikali kama vile Africa Prisons Project ikumbuke kwamba wafungwa ndio walitengeneza viti vya bunge ya kitaifa ya sasa mabadiliko makubwa zaidi yalishuhudiwa katika siku za hivi karibuni na kuingia katika vitabu vya kihistoria ya taifa hili pale wafungwa waliposhiriki katika mchakato wa kumchagua rais wa tano wa jamhuri ya Kenya katika uchaguzi mkuu wa hivi majuzi nikaamua kufunga safari yangu na kujua jinsi ya hali ilivyo kwa sasa ndani ya jela hili baada ya kupewa ruhusa kupiga picha tulipofika hapa katika lango kuu tulifanya ukaguzi wa usalama kwani ni hatia kuingia katika eneo lililo wafungwa na msingo wote siku hii tukabahatika kuwapata wakifunga shule mwisho wa muhula wanafunzi waliofanya vimo kituzwa huku wengine wakiwa wamekosha kiu yao ya elimu ninachokiona hapa ndani sio watu waliohukumiwa na kutajwa kama siofaa kwa katika jamii ila walio na kiu na hamu ya kubadilisha maisha yao ya usoni hapa ndipo tulikutana na mwanafunzi mkakamavu ambaye anasomea taaluma ya sheria inaojulikana kama LLB kutoka chuo kikuu cha kisheria cha London Uingereza jela ya kamiti imekuwa nyumbani kwake kwa miaka 20 sasa I just completed my form for education so just same year that is, I immediately after my uh, form for that's when I was arrested uh, for robbery with violence um I was actually going to college when I found myself in a crossfire wakati huo maisha kamiti yalikuwa magumu wengi walioingia hapa walikuwa hawana matumaini ya kuishi experience was very hard and especially at those time you see it's now almost 20 years uh, by then the prison was really uh, inside prison was really a prison inside another prison like i told you you could not interact with other inmates and all time you are locked inside ilikuwa ni afu ni kubwa kwake kinywa na wafungo wenzake ikawa kama mwanzo mpya aidha alichukua nafasi hiyo na kuanza kujihusisha na shughuli mbalimbali kwa ushirikiano na shirika la African Prisons Project ambalo lilikuwa linajitahidi juu chini kuota mizizi katika kubadilisha maisha ya wafungo barani Afrika kinywa akaona nafasi ya kujisaidia yeye na wafungo wenzake we've been given this chance free of charge we are doing LLB as we speak as some of us have completed LLB we are preparing graduation we are now running from first year to fourth year student of law purely law as it is done by other lawyers outside that is what we are doing msukumo wake uko kwamba wafungo wengi nchini walikuwa wana ufahamu wa haki zao so i can tell you today we have introduced jurisprudence in the court through this course we are able to draft very positive applications that judges are amazed and some of them can confess to you that they are receiving a lot of very um, uh, very good submissions from prison uh, and from inmates specifically so that is what we are doing and we have helped them to change law especially revolution in the, the criminal justice system huku wengi wakisalia kujiuliza ni vipi elimu aliyopata tamsaidia ili hali ana hukumu kifungo cha maisha this is giving you a, a complete lifestyle change you now thinking as a lawyer you are thinking with that the integrity of that prestigious course that you've already been given and there because it doesn't mean that because we are in, inmates we did not have ambitions we had ambitions we were in school for certain reasons we are dis, we were discontinued with our standards and that is why we found ourselves here so we cannot be confined to just dealing with the courses like shoe making and uh, and uh, carpentry and all that we have better ambitions we have the 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 ability so we just needed that opportunity ametudokezea kwamba hazima yake ni kuwasaidia vijana na jamii kwa jumla katika kuhakikisha kuna watu zaidi wanaojipata katika hali yake so i believe there is that opportunity now for prison to be able to partner 
with uh, right-minded uh, people who know the best way to be able to fight crime as opposed to just punishing inmates or just punishing the offenders. And you feel that maybe that is not yielding as much and people need to be rehabilitated. Mariana Muli, KUTV, katika makala ya muhi wa muhi